This is uh, this is pretty stunning. Um, what's his face? Seth Moulton was on a. Uh, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> you know, sometimes you screw up and uh, you really try and start to backpedal. And this, I think, happens a, a lot. Um, if you if you mess up in politics. One of the tacks that you can take is you go you go home and you lick your wounds. The other tack you can take is you try and attack someone who has less power than the person that you just failed to attack. Uh, and you just sort of move down in your mind, you know, the, the, the pecking order as to who might be vulnerable, right? I tried to go after this person, I got faced, and so now I'm gonna go after someone else I perceive as vulnerable. Of all the people, <clears throat> I want you to think of all the people who um, defended Nancy Pelosi from the uh, the insurgency to uh, keep her from being Speaker of the House. There was uh, 15 people who, uh, as you know, signed a letter um, to uh, defeat her. There was also the no labels people who were trying to leverage her, but everybody else who was defending her. Think of all the people, right? Like the David Axelrods, like the Clintons, like the centrists and people on the left to a certain extent because of, uh, of where the, of the politics of Seth. Moulton. I want you to think of all those people. If you're Seth Moulton and you want to come out and attack one or one subset of those people who defended Pelosi, who would you choose? Who would be the most obvious uh, person you attack? Well, of course, it's Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, <laughs> obviously. From Massachusetts, speaking of new generation of leadership and speaking of women, uh, you, as you know, even at your town hall meeting, you've been accused of being a sexist. Uh, the highest profile person of the new generation of leadership, Ocasio-Cortez, tweets, all the challenges to leader Pelosi are coming from her right and an apparent effort to make the party even more conservative and bent toward corporate interests. Are you worried about the impact of this challenge, both on your constituents and on you, Seth Moulton? No, I'm not, because I believe I'm doing the right thing for the party and the country, and I'm always going to do that. And people who know me uh, know that about me. You know, they may not even always agree with my perspective on things, but they should know that I will always fight for what's right. And I'm not going to just bend with the political winds. I mean, again, this is a position I've had for two years. So just because there are some people on the far left um, complaining about it right now doesn't mean that I'm suddenly going to change my position. And frankly, um, you know, that, that tweet is, I think, pretty offensive to someone like Linda Sanchez, a congresswoman from California, who's been at the forefront of this effort for a long time. It's offensive because she's in the Progressive Caucus, so she is um, uh, a very, very progressive member of Congress. Um, she is not um, to the right of Nancy Pelosi by any means. Um, and it's also offensive because she's a woman. What? Exactly. <laughs> Bernie bro AOC at it again. Uh, like, I, um, I just really do not want women in leadership. So I will stay in the House. I will not run for The country's Senate. not ready, okay? The country is not ready. Like, I can represent the Bronx and Queens. I cannot go statewide, obviously, woman. <laughs> Which is why I support Nancy Pelosi. It Seth makes Moulton, total sense. Seth Moulton is going to get primaried, and uh, without a doubt. And I, I'm I'm telling you right now, um, I uh, am committed to helping raise money for Seth Moulton's uh, primary. It's candidate. so bizarre. I mean, he could. I mean, look, the, him saying he's sexist because he wants to challenge Pelosi is ludicrous too. Of course, I mean, there's such a way of just being like. But where did that even come from? No, I mean. That in that conversation, AOC yes. didn't mention no, anything no, that's other what I'm than saying. ideology. It, it, it went from like a ludicrous accusation against him to all of a sudden, like, do you have an issue with women being speaker of the house, Seth? Because you have weird. Who is that? Is that Mike Burbiggs? That's, oh, uh, that's Rob Riggle. A oh, Rob Riggle. I was Rob Riggle's say. a lot cooler. They do look cooler. very, very similar. That's very odd. I would like to uh, run Rob Riggle against Seth Moulton. Oh yeah, definitely. In, uh, I think Riggle's from, from the Boston area. Riggle would toast him. He's a progressive he's, guy, right? He's a progressive. Oh, I, I don't know what his, his exact politics are, but he's also a vet, so he'll smoke molten. 
There you go. Is Moulton a vet? Is that his deal? Is that like not as brand? good a vet as Riggle is? <laughs> of course. <laughs>